Hi everyone, kumusta kayo? My name is Jan Angelo and mag-uusap na naman tayo about skincare, skincare, and skincare. So, make sure to keep watching. Now, in the Philippines, one of the most underrated skincare products right now, in my opinion, are our niacinamide creams and moisturizers. Usually kasi when we think niacinamide, either nasa serum siya or nasa toner, and okay din naman yun, but surprisingly, in my own experience, mas naging useful talaga yung mga niacinamide moisturizers sa akin, even as someone with oily, acne-prone skin. Kasi isipin nyo guys, ang niacinamide is, as we know, a perfect partner to retinol and retinoids and even acne medications. But when you use these products, especially acne medications like tretinoin na sobrang drying, more often than not, to prevent irritation and dryness, gagamit ka rin naman ng moisturizer. And since marami ng mga moisturizers na available locally in the Philippines with 3 to 5% niacinamide, which is actually the best percentage to get niacinamide in, then para ka nang gumamit ng 2-in-1 serum and moisturizer, which is of course more convenient. So, if you're looking for a niacinamide cream or a niacinamide moisturizer to incorporate into your skincare routine, we will be listing down all the best available options in the Philippines in this video. And with that being said, wala nang any any, let us begin. So as usual guys, inorganize ko yung mga best niacinamide moisturizers natin into three different budget levels. Starting with our first budget level, this is for those na maraming budget. Starting off with our first niacinamide moisturizer, ito talaga guys, I cannot recommend this enough and I really think this will go down to be one of my all-time favorites. This moisturizer is the one and the only La Roche-Posay Tolerian Double Repair Face Moisturizer. And for those of you who regularly watch my videos, probably 2022 pa lang nakikita nyo na to sa mga videos ko where I also featured it in my Best Light Creams video and it's also in my 2023 skincare routine video. And true enough, ito pa rin talaga yung binabalik-balikan ko when I'm looking for a trustworthy and well-rounded moisturizer to use with my acne medications. Now, ingredients-wise, I have already discussed this more in-depth in a previous video but the most notable ingredients are niacinamide and also ceramide NP and this combination is of course the best to nourish the skin barrier while niacinamide also helps na matolerate ng skin natin yung mga retinol or retinoids kapag gumagamit kayo nun. And for me, yung highlight talaga ng moisturizer na to is its texture and consistency because very well balanced siya. Now from a cream, this very easily melts into the skin, madali lang siya spread and the finish is very natural and non-shiny. As in, perfect na perfect talaga to for oily and combination skin types and even dry skin na exposed sa very hot and humid weather, I can imagine na magagamit nyo rin to as a day cream. Kasi kahit nourishing siya, it doesn't really feel so heavy on the skin. As in, na-perfect talaga nila Roche-Posay yung balance na yun in this formulation. And I really think yun talaga yung binabayaran mo dito, aside of course from the La Roche-Posay branding. And speaking of, price-wise, this is a bit steep at the 1,600 peso price range. But in my opinion, if you do have the budget, this will really be a reliable option for you. As in, wala ka nang iisi na iba pang moisturizer. As in ako, kung hindi ako content creator or hindi ako skincare enthusiast na bumibili ng maraming skincare, if I just need one very reliable moisturizer, it's probably going to be this. However, if you do have a slightly lower budget, let's say around mga 1K lang, another good alternative I would say is the CeraVe PM Moisturizer, of course, the OG. And that also has niacinamide and ceramides. And as you can see, wala na siya sa akin ngayon because it's literally been years since I last used this. As in, before pa nag-start yung YouTube channel, na to, I think 2019, ganun na siya katagal talaga. Despite that though, it is still a moisturizer that I can confidently recommend, especially if your budget is nasa around 1K, because if I'm not mistaken, nasa around 900 to 1,000 price range siya. One thing lang daw na masasabi ko about the CeraVe PM is if you're actively using acne medications na medyo matapang, or yung mga high strength na retinol or retinoids, in my opinion, medyo hindi enough yung nourishment na nabibigay niya. Parang in a way, lightweight siya masyado. Actually, si CeraVe VPM, unlike its name, parang mas marerecommend ko pa nga siya as an AM moisturizer kasi ganun talaga siya ka-lightweight. But given our current options in the market right now, if I do want something more nourishing or mas nakaka-prevent talaga ng irritation or dryness, mas nagugusan ko pa rin talaga tong si La Roche-Posay. So, para sa akin lang, I would save up just a little bit more to get this moisturizer instead. But if hindi nyo afford ang La Roche-Posay or CeraVe, don't worry guys, it's not a problem because we have a lot of other options in our next budget level. This is for those na medyo may budget. And at this point in the video, medyo mas nakaka-excite guys because I'm proud to say that all our next products up to the end of this video are from local Filipino brands that are FDA notified. In fairness talaga sa mga local skincare brands natin guys ha, sobrang nagiging competitive na sila when it comes to options na available. Which of course is good news for us consumers kasi hindi tayo mauubusan ng mga quality local skincare. Starting off with our first moisturizer, this one is from a brand that I've already mentioned a couple of times 
games last year and it's only gotten better. This one is from the local brand Saipo and it's their True Do Brightening Gel Cream. And yes, you might have remembered na nasa jar packaging siya dati when I featured it last year but now it's in a more hygienic tube packaging and from 50 ml before, ginawa pa nilang 60 ml to without increasing the price. Bogs, diba? Sobrang competitive na talaga ng market natin ngayon. Now, ingredients wise, I have already discussed this more in depth in a previous video but the most notable thing about this moisturizer is it's one of the few local moisturizers na merong 5% niacinamide. This is also a gel cream that I like to recommend for either dry skin or aging skin. In fact, I actually did include this in a routine for the signs of aging. Dun ko rin siya mas in-depth na ni-review ingredients wise as well as texture and consistency wise. So I will link you to that video here sa i button if you do want to see it. And true enough, perfect na perfect talaga to for those using retinol or retinoids especially for the signs of aging because again, niacinamide and retinoids or retinol are best friends when it comes to that. And even si Saipo, they usually recommend pairing this with yung newly released nila na retinol product. So if you're just looking for a maintenance routine for aging skin, magandang combo talaga yung retinol gel ng Saipo along with this one. Now price-wise, this is usually at 499 pesos for 60 ml na again, dating 50 ml. But if gusto niyo muna siyang itry, they also do have a tester size for just 89 pesos. And usually during sales season, kumakabog talaga si Saipo when it comes to discounts. So if you are looking to buy this, lalo na sa mga number-number sale, make sure to check their shop first if there's a promo. And as usual, if you do want to see their official store, ililink ko na lang siya sa description box because ang dami ko nakikita talagang mga parang fake ads sa Shopee and Lazada. When you search Saipo, merong mga ibang lumalabas na parang fake robot accounts. So if you do want to see the official store, parang hindi kayo mahirapan, ililink ko na lang sa baba. But anyway, moving on to our next moisturizer which is another option if malala talaga yung mga dry patches and sensitivity ninyo, especially if you're using acne medications or retinoids na prescription from your dermatologist. This is one that I really love to recommend plus very accessible pa siya because it is available also sa Watson. And again, for those who regularly watch my videos, I'm sure alam na alam nyo na to. This is from the brand Face Republic. It's their Vita Glow Radiance Cream. Alam nyo guys, I think this is really one of Face Republic's best products ever kasi talaga in my opinion, this is really made for those na sobrang nagda-dry and I irritate yung skin nila from acne medications and prescription na mga retinoids like tretinoin, adapalene, etc. Now just like our previous moisturizer, this does have 5% niacinamide but the texture of this is more of a light cream that's nourishing but at the same time, hindi siya sobrang heavy and the finish is very, very workable on the skin. So this really helps target any dry patches, irritation, and even dark spots and red marks because of the 5% niacinamide. Kaya talaga favorite ko tong i-recommend as a night cream even for those na combination skin and acne prone, especially those na nagsisensitive yung skin nila minsan because of their acne medications or retinoids, this really checks everything that you need. Now for drier skin types, this also does work as a good day cream or even as a makeup base. And ako personally, sa sobrang nagugustuhan ko talaga yung texture nito, hindi ko lang siya ginagamit sa face but also sa body din. I think in my previous video, yung body care routine ko from 2022, ito yung body lotion na ginagamit ko. Nag-stop lang ako nagamitin to as a body lotion because ang liit niya and ang bilis niya maubo. So I had to switch for the sake of my budget para hindi ako gastos ng gastos talaga. Now price-wise naman, this is at 499 pesos as well for 50 ml. But during sales season, nagdi-discount din si Face Republic minsan. Sometimes this becomes 450 or even as low as 350. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys will want me to compare itong Face Republic and itong kay Saipo because both have 5% niacinamide. But honestly, both have different textures. Ang similarity lang talaga nilang dalawa is the price and the 5% niacinamide. But my rule of thumb is if you're looking for a gel cream na medyo mas up yung hydration and moisture, definitely go for Saipo. But if you need that extra nourishment for dry patches or to offset your acne meds or retinoids, go for Face Republic. But if your skin type is more oily, acne prone with dark spots and red marks, doon na pumapasok yung last option natin in this category, which is actually the moisturizer version of one of my favorite serums for acne prone skin na merong dark spots and red marks. This one is from none other than the proudly local brand Soul Apothecary and it's their Radiance Boost Cream Moisturizer. Now again, this brand is no stranger sa mga matagal nang nanonood sa channel ko. It's really one of the best if you're looking for well-balanced options sa skincare mo in terms of active ingredients. And true enough, this one, para na talaga siyang moisturizer and serum in just one product and hindi niacinamide na serum but a brightening serum in general. Now ingredients wise, this has 2% niacinamide, medyo bumaba compared sa 5% ng serum nila but still well within the effective range of niacinamide. This also does have 3% tranexamic acid for red marks, 2% alpha-arbutin for 
dark spots and even 1% on the oil phenylalanine which also helps with dark spots. So very jam-packed talaga to with brightening ingredients but more than that, yung consistency talaga nito guys is really really ideal for oily acne prone skin. Now consistency wise, this is more of a gel cream na parang emulsion siya. So while it does feel a bit creamy at first, the more you spread it onto the skin, mas feel mo yung pagiging light and hydrating niya on the skin which is of course very ideal for those who are oily. Now I do have to say though na this is not for those na merong mga dry patches because it isn't as nourishing compared to our other options but for those na oily yung skin type nila and just need a safety buffer to prevent any irritation or any minor na dryness, perfect na perfect to. Not to mention, if gusto nyo talagang gamitin to during the daytime, you can actually do so. Ganun siya ka lightweight on the skin. Now price-wise naman, this does have two sizes. We have 350 for the 30ml and 550 for the 50ml. Comparing it with our two other options, medyo mas mahal siya per ml but I would say well worth it talaga for the formulation that you're getting. But if you are looking for more value or more product for your 300 peso budget, don't worry guys because like I said a while ago, palaban talaga yung category of skincare na to ngayon and yung local brands talaga natin mas nagiging competitive na sila and we definitely do have more options in our next budget level. Ito na yung favorite nyo guys. This is for those na nagtitipid or may drugstore budget. Now to start off, I do want to mention first a product na medyo honorable mention lang siya because while this product is a good niacinamide moisturizer in my opinion, for those na gumagamit ng mga stronger acne medications, baka makulangan kayo sa nourishment, especially kung nagkaka-dry patches kayo. Nonetheless though, this is still a product with amazing value. Sulit na sulit talaga siya, so hindi pwedeng hindi ko siya i-mention. It's this one from Fresh Skin Lab. It's their Jeju Aloe Eyes 3-in-1 Niacinamide Soothing Gel Lotion. Now recently, I already featured this sa body care routine video ko because yes, you can use it both on the body and on the face. Ganun siya talaga ka-versatile na product and it just adds more sa value niya. For those na regularly nanonood ng mga videos ko, ito yung regular version nung BT21 na Jeju Aloe Ice with 5% niacinamide. This regular one has just 3%, pero okay na okay pa rin yung percentage na yun to get the brightening and barrier strengthening benefits of niacinamide. Consistency wise, it's still very much the same. It's what you would expect sa standard na soothing gel and I do show that also sa body care routine video ko. And honestly, if oily skin ka or combination skin and you're using mga low percentage na retinol, yung hindi naman sobrang na-irritate yung skin mo, this could be a good option for you. Kaya nga lang, for those on very drying actives or stronger acne medications, especially those na nag oral acne medications na, and yung mga nagkaka-dry patches from their actives, baka medyo maging kulang to on being nourishing onto the skin since more gel talaga yung lagay niya sa skin. So all in all, it really depends on what type of actives you're using on your skin and kung ano yung response ng skin mo. If nagda-dry ba siya, nai-irritate, or kaya naman ng skin mo. Wala namang nangyayaring parang masamang effect. Of course, only you can answer that. But if you do decide to check this out, if I'm not mistaken, nasa 200 plus pesos lang siya for the full 300 ml tub. And they also have a smaller pouch version of this na 100 plus pesos lang. And that's 120 ml still. So, sulit na sulit pa rin. However, if you are still looking for more nourishing options for your skin, we still have two really good options from our local skincare brands. One of them being available in Watsons and another na online exclusive lang, but it's more affordable. Now, start muna tayo with the option na available in Watsons. This is from a relatively new but familiar brand. I'm sure nakikita nyo na to, especially sa mga SM department stores. <laughs> Lagi silang may stock nito. This is from the brand Era by iWhite Korea and it's their Pore Blur Whitening Moisturizer. Now, first, I just want to mention, I'm not a big fan of yung whitening na nakalagay dito sa product since hindi naman masyadong accurate yung term na to to what this moisturizer can actually do for you. Now, if hindi ka naturally white talaga or if yung skin mo nung bata ka was not as fair, then hindi to magiging whitening for you. Ang gagawin lang niya is it will bring your skin back sa original skin color niya or ipapantay lang niya yung skin tone mo. And the more appropriate and inclusive term for that is brightening, lightening, or even the phrase na evens out skin tone. Pero hindi whitening. Kasi kung iisipin nyo, yes, it can make it brighter or lighter regardless of your skin tone, pero yung whitening na term, it depends on the person's skin tone. So just manage your expectations when you see this term, especially in other skincare products. And now na clarify ko na yun, let's go back to this product. For those who know the brand Eye White, again, magiging very familiar to sa inyo because this is more of just a repackaged version nung luma nila na Whip Pro Niacin Moisturizer. And actually, I really, really like that moisturizer. I've recommended it already sa Best Light Creams video ko and sa review ko of Eye White products earlier this year. I did mention na it's one of my favorites for 
combination to even oily skin, especially since mattifying siya. And actually, sabi ko pa dun sa video na yun na nalulungkot ako kasi parang if face out na ni iWhite yung product na yun. But it turns out, i-repackage lang pala. So, I'm happy to see this back in the market. Sana lang tanggalin na nila yung whitening and change it to something a bit more accurate. But anyway, since repackage nga lang to, the ingredients are just the same. This still does have niacinamide and while they don't disclose the actual percentage of it, relatively high up naman siya in the ingredients list coming in at 4th. This one also does have a couple of fermented and probiotic ingredients including lactobacillus ferment, bifida ferment, and saccharomyces ferment. Very optional na ingredients lang naman yung sa mga skincare products but good to have pa rin naman sila especially when nourishing and protecting your skin barrier. And syempre, we also have to mention what makes this moisturizer very unique sa list na to. That's of course yung mattifying effect niya. Now as you can see from a starchy cream, this just instantly melts onto your skin and it blends very fast onto a very soft matte finish that feels hydrating but lightweight and airy at the same time. And given yung consistency niya, this can definitely work as an affordable priming moisturizer kung magme makeup or magsis skin tint kayo. And that's really why I like to bring this kapag meron ako mga shoots. Now price-wise naman, this is normally at 309 pesos for 50 ml. Not bad. And itong si Era since new brand siya technically, this is very, very accessible. Lagi ko tong nakikita in Watson's and SM department stores. If not itong regular size niya, then yung mga trial sachets din. So if you want to try it out first, pwedeng yun lang din muna yung kunin ninyo. Alright, and now moving on to our final moisturizer in this budget level. And this is also currently one of my favorite moisturizers sa buong list na to. Maybe only next to La Roche-Posay, which is yung all-time favorite ko talaga. This is from a newer local brand that I actually just mentioned a few videos ago. It's from this brand, Eden Skin, and it's their Ride the Tide Healing Moisturizer. Now, I featured this recently sa combination skincare routine na video ko because I really feel that this moisturizer is very balanced while at the same time being flexible between different skin types. And what's more, it's still focused on being lightweight because of our hot and humid na weather dito sa Pilipinas. Now, if you do want a more in-depth review of this with the ingredients and the feel of it on the skin, I do use it doon sa video na yon that I will link here sa i-button. And sa video na yon kahit pinatong ko siya sa serum, lightweight and comfortable pa rin yung feeling niya. Kaya talaga sobrang love na love ko to. Other than combination skin, I think oily skin types will also enjoy this as a night cream. And acne-prone skin types na nag-acne medications or have dry patches will definitely, definitely find this useful even during the daytime. Lightweight kasi siya, but it helps bring back that nourishment that your skin barrier needs after niyang madry out ng sobra-sobra ng acne medications. Price-wise naman, this is the most price accessible at just 249 pesos for 30 ml of product. Again, not bad already and also well worth it for what you're getting in this product. However, this is only available exclusively online though since bagong brand pa lang si Eden Skin. But don't worry guys, I will leave the link to their official shop in the description box along with other products that I mentioned in this video para hindi na kayo mahirap ang hanapin sila. But anyway, I do hope I was able to find you a niacinamide moisturizer that not only fits your skincare routine but your budget as well. And also, if you're using retinol or retinoids, I hope this helps your skin tolerate these actives more. And also, if you do need more information in using retinol or other skincare actives in your routine, I will be putting some videos here na baka maging helpful sa inyo. And as usual guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!